Now, I will admit, and again, I'm going to try not to say this person's name, <laughs> but I will admit, when I do have beef with another speaker or another coach or whatever, is not only when they differ from me, but when they attack my stuff. And that did happen in London. I'm not going to spend too much time talking about it, but there was one speaker there, and he actually got on stage and said, I think verbalizing your sexual intentions to a woman is the dumbest thing you can do. And the whole auditorium of guys just turned around and looked at me like, <laughs> Alan, we know you got a response for that. And I was like, yeah, I let him talk. And then, you know, he's all about, he kept plugging the word subcommunication. See, I believe you have to subcommunicate your desires to a woman. You don't verbalize them, you subcommunicate them. Since Sasha was talking about ethnicities and stuff, I'm going to just put it out there. In America, brothers, brothers they don't talk about no fucking subcommunication. <laughs> I'm just keeping it real. We don't talk about it. That's not even in our vernacular. I, I've never hung around some brothers that say, hey, man, I'm going to go out to the club, and I'm going to be subcommunicating with some honeys, man. <laughs> yeah, man. I'm going to talk to them. I'm going to subcommunicate with them, man. You going to come with me? You going to subcommunicate? <laughs> Shit, yeah. Matter of fact, let's see them honeys against the wall, man. Let's go over there and subcommunicate to them. Because... And again, I don't want to hear all my stuff, but here's why I'm not the biggest fan of this idea of subcommunication. And this is going to relate to what I talk about later in my presentation. I've been on a dance floor with a woman and had that woman put her ass all in my dick. I mean, it was just like, I was just like, mm, mm. And just grabbing on her ass and shit. Now, if you saw that on video, you would say, oh, I know he going to fuck her tonight. But some of those women didn't even give me their number. Now, if the subcommunication experts would analyze it, they would say, surely if a woman puts her ass all in your dick and basically sexualizes her body language, then surely she's going to give you some pussy. But that's not the reality. That's not the reality. Some of them will. Surely some of them will. There's a percentage that will. But there's some women that just enjoy cock teasing guys. And like I said, I'm going to get to that a little later. But yeah, on the point of, of people differing from me, but where I really feel like the indirect approach, well, first I'm going to give you my definition. Everybody has their own definitions. I'm going to give you my definition. What is a direct approach versus an indirect approach? This is my definition of a direct approach. When you approach a woman and you let her know straightforwardly what motivated you what motivated you to approach her in the first place, for example, letting a woman know, I think you're attractive, or I think you're sexy, as opposed to, man, where did you get that blouse from? Is that from Switzerland? <laughs> you didn't want to fucking know where her, you, she got her blouse from. What the fuck is that? <laughs> really? That's some stupid shit to me. And the same guy, again, who remained nameless, who criticized my approach, he has a video of him doing just that. He goes up to a woman, he's asking her about her boots and her bag like he really gave a fuck. 